Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we are still writing expressions, which is a skill that's super important to both interpreting word problems and algebra. So we're boosting our basics across the board for the GED math test. Let's take a look. It says Fatima and her three friends pooled their money to order pizza. Each one of them gave six dollars. Which of the following expressions could be used to find their total money? And then look at me, I'm a total brat. I say choose all that apply. I'm not letting you out of jail. If you just see one right answer, there might be more than one. Let's go ahead and take a look. So <clears throat> first of all, I notice once again, we have this idea, kind of like we did in the last writing expressions video, that people are pooling their money. They're putting their money together. Now there's a couple of ways to put things together mathematically. We can add. An addition is used to put together any sized groups. Or we can multiply. Multiplying is used to put together same sized groups. And let's take a look here. <clears throat> what do we know? We know that each one of these people gave six dollars. And I'm looking for which of the following expressions could be used to find their total money. That pooled source, the total there. Okay, now each one gave six dollars. Well, there's a couple of different ways that I could think about. I could think about each one of the friends giving six bucks and just adding that up. Six and six and six. Now careful, it says Fatima and her three friends. So there's Fatima and then I need one, two, three friends. So six plus six plus six plus six is definitely one right way. Uh, to write this expression. And of course, A then would be wrong because it just has Fatima's three friends. One, two, three, but it doesn't count Fatima. Let's rule out A. Now, this isn't the only way to write this problem though because we said addition could be used for putting together any size groups, but multiplication can be used for putting together same sized groups. And look how everybody puts in the same amount of money here. Yeah, everybody puts in six dollars. How many people put in six dollars? Four of them. So we could also say this is four times six or six times four, same difference. But the number six happening four times. So I see C is also correct. Okay, now be really careful. D is there just to trick you again. Again, that's only three times six. Uh, we're counting Fatima's three friends, but forgetting to count Fatima, D is wrong. Now E I put on purpose just to try to trick people. A lot of people when I put this on Facebook told me E was a right answer, but let me show you why E is not a correct answer. You guys are kind of remembering what exponents mean, but kind of forgetting. What does 6 to the 4th power mean? Well remember that exponents, they don't mean repeated addition, rather they mean repeated multiplication. 6 to the 4th power means 6 multiplying by itself four times, or another way to think of it, four sixes multiplying, not four sixes adding. Look at the difference there. This one was four sixes adding. And in fact, what would I get if I did this? Well, six times six is 36. This six times six is 36. And let's see, $36 times $36, oh, 1,296. Okay guys, I wish life worked this way. If me and my four friends all donated six bucks to the cause, we would suddenly end up with $1,296. But we all live in the real world and we know that's not how it works. So six to the fourth power was a trick answer. I tried to see if I could get you guys to fall for it and I did. Watch out for my tricks. The GED has these same ones up their sleeve. All right, so if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic or concept, <laughs> be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.